Hey guys, new here. Welcome to episode 14 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In this episode, we're doing random stuff because we want to waste time. Uh, I don't want to do anything important in the storyline yet, so wasting time is what I'll do. But I'll go towards where I need to go, and yeah, I completely forgot about this. I'll see you on the other side of the cave. I'm back and look at this, it's a Devon guy which is cool I guess. He's gonna talk about how we help them and then uh, he's gonna say that Captain Stan said that he's got his package and he's just kissing our butt. So he's gonna give us a Pokeball which is gonna be cool. It's a repeat ball which means if you really caught a Pokemon which is of the same species, god I hate saying that, uh, you'll be able to catch it easier. Which is like if I caught a zigzagoon, which I have, and I went out to catch another one, I'd be able to catch it easier. Well, the catch rate would be higher. And yay. I just saw an Abra. I... Stop it. Stop lagging. Okay, I just saw an Abra. I tried to catch it, but it didn't work. Which is annoying in a way. But well. Yay for random Pokemon interrupting me. Pokemon? People. And, darn it. Okay, uh, now that we're out of the grass, we can do other stuff, like go places we don't need to go. Like this place for instance, we're going this way, because we're going to pick up a very nice gift. Because we like gifts, and if it's for free, we're definitely going to take it. So, go up the stairs, go up the other stairs, see this kiss ass, kiss butt, kiss whatever. And she's gonna tell you about the timer ball and the repeat ball, which is basically what he just gave us. And Mr. Stone is now gonna thank us and give us an EXP share, which is nice. Eh. I have no emotion today in Pokemon games. Yay. Uh so I have no idea what I'm gonna do now because it's only two and a quarter minutes in and I'm already done what I really wanna do in this episode. Uh, how can I waste more time? Hmm. I could make this a training episode, but I don't want to, because that'd be harsh on you guys. So I'm just going to go around collecting random stuff, and maybe I'll take on a little bit of the gym. So, I should stop running, because I'm, uh, speeding things up. I should walk like a no normal person. Uh, anyway, now that we're... We've got cut. We got it a while ago. We just never did it before. I think. Did we come over here? Uh, yeah. Go past this tree. And what Pokemon? Yes. So we come up past here and walk into another Pokemon. Yay! I am now good. Uh, anyway, talk to this lady here, and she's already given us the miracle seed. I've been here before. I can't. Yes, I have. Okay then, so that means we've got two of the three elemental boosting items. We've got the charcoal and the miracle seed, which which uh, boost both fire and grass type moves. And we're gonna get the miracle war, mystical war, or mystic war, whatever, in a while, which will help us boost water attacks. Oh. Yay, we're already in the city that I don't want to be here yet because I don't want to take on the gym yet. Again, um, I don't really know what I can do now. So, um, I want to go off screen and let me think of what I can do. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Ah, uh, sorry about that. Um, just for the easy, well, help of the game, I have hacked another item into the game. It's a Soothe Bell, so go back and evolve easier and quicker. And uh, seeing as I have no idea what we're going to do, we're going to go into the gym and start taking on the trainers there. Uh, we're not taking on the gym itself, we're just going to take on the gym trainers. So, uh, this uh, gym is the one that your in game dad has and it's kind of quite easy but the gym leader itself isn't um, basically there's different aspects to the gym that 
you'll have different rooms where different kind of events can happen. Well, not really events. They're different type of trainers. Like, for instance, when you saw when I came into this room, it was called the speed room. Uh, this guy will be quite fast, well, very fast, and will uh, basically al almost always be faster than you. Uh, like I said, I'm not really in the mood for Pokemon now, and right now, but I'm d halfway through, well, further way through, so I'm not just going to stop now. I just got beat. Well, I had my... Pokemon, can't remember the name, Tsunami, Marshdom, beat. Anyway, so now let's go for a wing attack, seeing as I had nothing else to do. Yep. That was that done then, and seeing as we don't really. Well, I don't want to go back and heal my Pokemon, so I'm just going to use Sky Guy. If he evolves, even better. But I doubt he will. Uh, this is a confusion room. I don't even want to attempt that. I hate confusion. This is the, f the defense room, which I can deal with that. So, this girl will obviously have uh, defensive Pokemon or have a move. have an item that will raise defense. So, yeah, you want to watch out for that. And Wigglytuff is awesome. Just saying. So, that critical hit was awesome as well. Yep. Uh, if I didn't use items, I'd have had a beat right there. But they do use items, so I'm back to taking out again. Uh, nowhere near as awesome as the last one was. So we'll confuse it instead and hope it hits itself. Yes, we just be a wiggly tough. I think these things are awesome. And oh darn. Okay then, we didn't just be a wiggly tough, we just got KO'd by it. But it knocked itself out as well, which means we get no experience and Sableau is the only Pokemon left. Which is annoying. So yes, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're ta we've taken the right room this time. Well, by right room I mean the door to the right, not the correct one. And this is the accuracy person. Why am I even showing this? I don't know. Ah oh, well, maybe it'll stall some time. So this person has a Delcate, which is kind of cool, I guess. Tsunami is back out front, because Tsunami is awesome. And we're going to hit a faint attack, which isn't really that bad. I really wish I had uh, a move right now that was strong. Like, I can't wait to after this gym, because we're going to get a really useful move. Uh, so takedown does its job, takes Delcate down, and yes, we win that battle. Um, yeah. I've got a feeling this isn't going to be a very long battle. We just went in that room, so we're going to in this room. Recovery room, fun. Anyway, I'm not in any mood to show you a 10 minute long battle of him recovering and me. Uh, getting angry at him, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That would have been nasty, but I had a slack off, so. Uh, this is the one hit KO room, which pretty much, like it says, uh, their moves are going to be one hit KO moves, or they're going to be so strong that it's going to just knock you out straight away. So, in that case, I'm just going to heal up, if I can find anything to heal up with. Okay, I'm not healing up, because I didn't say anything. So, I'm going to do this person off screen as well, and by do I mean battle them, so yeah. Okay, I'm back. Sorry I was wrong, but with one hit KO room, they mean that they're going to raise their critical hit ratio so they can, like, crit you to death. So, yeah, that didn't really work out, but here we are. And this is our in-game dad, you know him, and uh, he's the gym leader, fifth gym leader, normal types, as you may have guessed from the whole normal type thing. But, soon as we had a gym lead last episode, I'm not doing it this episode, we'll do it next episode. So, I'm ending it here then, I guess. Next episode on Pokemon Emerald will be taking on a gym leader. Again. Weird. Hmm. Should probably make these episodes short, shouldn't I? 
Anyway, see you guys next time.